Hello. Hello. I'm Joe Serio. I'm not. I'm Chris. And uh, we're going to talk about college writing. All right, so what, do you have any questions pulled up? Yeah. All right, let's, okay, so, let's um, go one at a time. What did you get out of this partnership? What did, okay, so I guess I'll start. So what did we get out of this partnership? I think that, man, I haven't thought about these questions. What do you guys think? I, yeah, I'm not very sure. All right, so um, <coughs> I gained a better understanding of uh, the behind the scenes, uh, specifically like how to work alongside of a professor and another like teacher assistant. I guess now they're peer, men peer mentors, right? Yeah. Um, so like how to work together uh, in a fashion that benefits the students. Mm -hmm. I learned how to do that, and that's what I took away from this. Too. Um, okay, so for me, I guess I start realizing things. So like if it's um, other people's lives or like I don't know just like small details yeah. that I notice. So I'm very open minded to that. Yeah, I think for me one thing I wish because now because I'm a new faculty member and so it wasn't long ago when I was a student like three years ago pretty much and uh, one thing I was able to do as a graduate student or even as an undergrad was like make a relationship with my students that's different than now. Which now I can't make the same kind of because I'm now pretty much a figure of authority, where I think you guys can make a different kind of relationship with the students that I can't do, so they can get connections with someone from the class at different levels. So I feel like I don't know if that's answering the question, but like I feel like that's one of the benefits of what I get from this program, just because you guys can access the students in a way that I could never do. So, that'd be, okay. and because it was wonderful working with both of you. I love you both the students. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, so, how did our students benefit from it? I, I think you said it. They were able to obtain yeah. a relationship that wasn't so professional. Mm -hmm. um, it was like a mediator. Mm -hmm. Like, um, we mediated between the professor and the student. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, because like a lot of students aren't like comfortable talking to the professor, so it's like nice having that one person there that's like you know kind of there. Right. Yeah. Like if they're not comfortable with me, they could talk to you. If they're not comfortable with you, they could talk to me or the other students in class. But I think also like one of the problems I had before I had peer mentors and like helping with the class was that there's certain students that just like fell through, through the cracks and I just didn't know until it was too late. I feel like you guys are like can look through like who's not handing stuff in and who should I be concerned with and then we have an action plan to how to like intervene with them. I think a lot of the interventions we made have worked well. Not all of them. Like, um, but at the same time, like I don't think no one has anyone failed out of the class. No. I don't think there's one student who just He's showed up the first day and, and never showed up again. But like everyone who fell behind, we were able to get them back up to where they needed to be. So I feel like um, before, like people just, you know, it was just too late for me. And I wish I had a peer mentor for other classes, but so, so I think the students who fall through the cracks, um, we're yeah, able to just see them before it's too late. So that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. What else we got? Is that it? Yeah. That's it. Any other reflections? Um, I had a great <coughs> semester with Joe. That's good. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I thought this was, I remember, when, like, I think I said this at the beginning of the semester where I was like, I feel like my anxiety just like went away about the semester because I was teaching four classes the semester. Mm -hmm. I was like, I need some help. And so I'm glad both of you agreed because it was, it went really well. I thought it went really well. Mm -hmm. Last year when I had Nina, she was my first um, TA. And I feel like I was tr still trying to figure out what to do with her. And I feel like it didn't, it was good, but it's like, I feel like I didn't use her to full potential. Mm -hmm. And I'm still figuring that stuff out. So let me ask you, if you could do What's one thing you feel like you could have done more, or not could have done more? Because I'm wondering, is there other stuff that I didn't do or we didn't do that you could have done? Just for if I get a TA for next year. I think the only thing that I could have done better was um, explaining the relationship between the t t t the relationship between the TA and the students to the students. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of students understood like what the purpose of the TA was. Mm -hmm. um, at least some of them. I think some of the the people who needed the TA probably eventually figured it out because the TA like approached them. Mm -hmm. But um, some students may have not um, appreciated it as much as they could have. Mm -hmm. But I guess that's not really evident yet. That'll be evident once yeah. the, the semester ends. We'll see the, the grades. If you had to say 
what is the role of a peer mentor, what would you say? I would say like guide them like along the semester. So like you just remind them things and mm-hmm. like, I don't know, like get to know them. Mm-hmm. So you're just like their friend. Yeah. Yeah, so just remind them. <laughs> you agree? Uh, yeah, I agree with that. And then also to give assistance to the professor on what like mm-hmm. the student mindset is because mm-hmm. Um, like you said before, you're now kind of farther away from being a student, so we're not. And if you need advice on like what kind of assignments to give or like whether or not to modify an assignment, instead of asking the students who may be like, uh, specifically for our class, like whenever you ask for like suggestions, they would like give like kind of like joke answers. But like, mm-hmm. if you don't want that, like you can come to me and like ask right. for advice. I think that was also benefit too. Like sometimes after class or just like. There was, I feel like there were moments throughout the semester where I'm just like, what did you read of this, what happened in class today? And it was nice to just like have someone to break down what was going on mm-hmm. with, if that makes sense. So that was good. But also, like, because both of you have taken it before, it's good to see how things went from a different perspective. That was helpful for me mm-hmm. to see, like, should I do this? Should I not do this? Um, so that was good. Anything else that comes to mind, Gina? Good semester. Very good year, yeah. That's a good year, yeah. And uh, we'll keep in touch. That's all. That's it for now.